When you use a piece of software for hours every day, you expect more than just powerful features. You want to be able to customize it to fit your needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change some of the basic areas of the GroupWise interface. Some of the modifications allow you to customize functionality, while others focus on changing the look. Whether it's for aesthetics or utility, all of these customizations will help you become more productive. Before looking at customizations, I'll briefly explain the different areas of the GroupWise interface. This is the navbar. It allows quick access to the folders you use most, and it includes a welcome tab that's filled with information for new and experienced GroupWise users. This is the main toolbar. From here, you can perform common GroupWise tasks, such as sending a message or appointment, creating a task, or performing a search. This is the item list. Items that relate to the current folder are displayed here. Since I'm in the mailbox folder, this list is populated with messages that I've received from other users, whereas in the task list folder, it would be full of tasks that have been assigned to me. This is the folder list. It lets you organize your GroupWise items by creating folders to store them in. The number of unread items inside the folder is shown in parentheses next to it. This is the Quick Viewer. It saves you time by letting you see the contents of any highlighted item, so you don't need to open each item separately. With the Quick Viewer, you can click or use the up and down arrow keys to browse through the items in your folders. Now that I've introduced the interface, I'll show you some typical customizations. Let's begin with the navbar. Because the navbar is designed to help you get around quickly, you can add and remove folders that you use often. To do this, right-click it and select Customize Navbar. A list of folders appears. From here, you can add or remove a folder by selecting the checkbox next to it. After you click OK, the navbar updates based on your changes. If you don't want the navbar to appear at all, you can turn it on and off by clicking Tools, Options, Environment. On the Appearance tab, click the Display Navbar box to toggle the navbar on and off. The same can be done for the main menu, the main toolbar, the folder list, and the Quick Viewer. Click Apply, and the navbar disappears. The Appearance tab is central to customizing the GroupWise interface. For example, from here, I can change the color scheme by clicking the Color Scheme drop-down menu, selecting a new color scheme, and clicking Apply. You can choose from any of the provided color schemes to make GroupWise your own. Now let's take a look at the item list. Because this list displays items that relate to the current folder, you can customize it to show those items in many ways. If you right-click the column header area and select More Columns, you can add and remove columns from the item list depending on what kind of information you want to see. Once added, you can click any column header to sort your item list according to that column. If you right-click in the item list, you see a list of display options that allow you to further customize it. There are many options available here, but I'll talk about just a few of them. The Message Preview option will show the first few lines of each message in the item list. By clicking Show Group Labels, items are now grouped by whichever column you're sorting by. By enabling the View as Task List option, you can convert any item in your item list into a task simply by dragging and dropping it in the Task List area at the top of the item list. With that enabled, you even have new Task List specific options when you right click in the item list. All of these options allow you to modify the item list so that it provides the information you want. Now, I'll show you some of the options for the Quick Viewer. If you want to resize the Quick Viewer, you can do so by clicking the border and dragging to the desired size. On the other hand, if you want more screen real estate for your item list, you can easily toggle the Quick Viewer on and off by clicking the Quick Viewer button located on the taskbar. 
You might have noticed that there were some Quick Viewer options on the Appearance tab that we were looking at earlier. From here, you can control whether the Quick Viewer appears on the right side of the interface or at the bottom. There's peace of mind in having it your way, so use these tips to customize GroupWise and make it as agile and productive as you are. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com/documentation. Thanks for watching.